I'm Tamara Simon, Design Lead at Proposify. I help our customers by designing custom proposal templates that make them stand out from their competition. I've designed literally hundreds of proposals, and I'm sharing common mistakes that I see and how you can use design principles to take your proposals to the next level. Let's look at what to do with a text-heavy proposal. This is something we encounter all the time, and I'm going to show you a proposal makeover that we did for Fiscal Technologies, a company that helps their clients identify potential fraud. Let's dive in. Fiscal Technologies has a proposal that was very, very common to what we often get shown at the beginning uh, before they get a custom template created for them. Um, and what I mean by that is it's text heavy and it's created in Word. It's a little bit difficult to digest. Again, so common though, um, you're not alone if your proposal currently looks like this. So a lot of people ask us, what, what can we do when we redesign the proposal if we, we cannot cut out any of the copy? We need all of our copy, we need all of our graphics and charts. Uh, so this is a great example of how to tackle situations like that. You can see there's still lots of copy, there's still lots of different areas of text, but we didn't have to sacrifice the aesthetic to get it all in there. A great way to do this is using color blocking and headings. They will be your best friend as well as bullet points, anything that can break the text up to become more digestible for your prospect. The goal is for them to actually read through everything. So you need to think, if you were looking at this page, what would keep you engaged to keep reading it? Another great idea is to overlap color blocks over top of images. So you can see this here, just pulling out a nice quote, just something that's eye-catching so they read through all the important bits their challenges and then there's just something that's drawing them into the page through color and just some visual interest can also integrate videos that's a great way to keep people um, excited about what it is that you're presenting it's a great way to put a lot of information into a, visual, a visually appealing aspect of your proposal um, so this page will say quite a bit just by having a video and then pulling out all the main points of the video that you want your prospect to focus on. Even on a pages where it's business heavy, you've got to present your, your, um, like your ROIs or a calculator, or you have to present your fees. That doesn't mean that it needs to be boring. It can still exude everything about your brand and get your point across, even on all the important information pages. This is also another idea you can implement. So get infographics in there. Um, anything that breaks it up, something that's like, ooh, that looks different. Something that's really important to consider as you figure out where you want all your copy to lay in your proposal is don't focus too heavily on your page count. We always do say page count does matter, so the sweet spot's kind of eight to 12 pages. But if you're going to have to sacrifice aesthetic to cut pages down, we don't advise doing that. So. Instead of having one page that's just jam full of copy, spread that out to two or three really visu visually appealing pages with images um, and all the other elements we've been talking about. And that will keep your client engaged and reading through that content instead of just skipping that one text every page. Awesome, so you can see from start to finish, very cohesive brand. We didn't have to sacrifice any of their copy to achieve this. Uh, lots of little ways throughout to ensure that you still have a complete proposal. Let's recap what you learned. One, use color blocking, headers, and bullets as tools to break up those text heavy pages. Two, integrate video to share a lot of content in a more appealing way. Three, don't forget about your investment pages. Bring design elements into every aspect of your proposal for consistency. I hope you enjoyed these proposal design tips. And if you'd like us to tear down your proposal, send an email to marketing at proposify.com with the subject line proposal teardown. Or if you'd like us to design a custom template for you, click the link in the description.